Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be starting a new tutorial series. This one is on Ozone 8, which is pretty exciting. Ozone is a all-in-one mastering plugin suite that will make your tracks sound great and sound good commercially, and uh, it will stand up against other tracks. Basically, it's a way to take the final mix of everything and polish it and add a sheen, I've heard people describe, make it louder, uh, kind of tame the dynamics, glue it together, make it sound like one big thing. And yeah, it does a, an excellent job at that. And uh, yeah, this video is going to be about the UI and workflow because I got the intro out of the way. So this is what it looks like. How it works is you have your plugins up here and you can add and uh, take them away as well. And what this what happens is, is this is processed in series so the signal goes from left to right right so that's that's one of the the workflows it's not like all going in and then going out to these separately and it being summed equalizer goes into dynamics into maximizer midget tape etc etc you can move things around and that is all of that and yeah so i'll just delete all these and we can see all of our plugins all of our modules down here, I'll call them modules. And uh, yeah, you can select to drag them in, and that's all well and good. You can only have a maximum of, I think, six. You only have one at a time, which isn't a bummer, because you have them all individually as plugins as well. So you can build your own uh, Ozone 8 uh, chain for that, which works out quite well. So we're going to be going through all these a little bit later. Starting up here, this is new. You have the ability to name the instance, which is very important. So I'm going to call this Ozone Master. And uh, this is very useful, and I'll explain why later. Uh, I'm going to be doing a Neutron 2 video as well. Ozone 8 talks to Neutron 2, and you have cool things like uh, tonal balance control and all that fun stuff in the visual mixer, which we'll get into. But that's a different series, which I'll be starting soon after this one. You have your Master Assistant, which I will get into. It will assist in mastering. Um, and this is the track we're going to be mastering, by the way. And uh, yeah, just a basic little thing. There's some problems in it, and we're going to be fixing that. You have your presets here, and uh, you can go through uh, any of those and save your own and stuff like that. You can have a show at startup if you want. That's all well and good, and you can cycle through your presets. You have an undo and an undo history. And then you got your uh, your options and your help and all that. Here you have your input meter and adjustment, input gain left and right. So you can adjust the input gain, which is useful in certain situations, especially if you're using like vintage tape and things like that. And then you have your output gain, which is, you know, on the output. I wouldn't touch this. Uh, and we'll explain that when we get to the uh, maximizer slash vintage limiter. You have a global bypass, so you can bypass everything to kind of do an A-B, like what it sounds like before and after. You have the gain match, which will uh, automatically adjust the gain um, matching the uh, the limiter. So you're not hearing, you're hearing like the changes and not like loudness, because our ears have like this thing where we think louder sounds sound better. It'll keep things uniform, which is uh, good. And... Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry. This is the mono. I didn't know what that was. That's a weird thing. Yeah, it's a mono, so you can test it in mono. You can have this on, toggle mono on, on and off. You can load in a reference. You can dither as your final step, which could be important. And then you have your codec preview, which is pretty neat. You can kind of, uh, Ozone can guesstimate what it'll sound like when you upload it to SoundCloud or something like that. The SoundCloud is like, I think it's, I think it's 192, so you can hear what that Sounds like you can even solo the artifacts. Right. And uh, yeah, test things out that way, which is a pretty useful. And, you know, turn them on and off with this thing here. And uh, yeah, let's just delve into the options just for a sec. Uh, you got you got general like show meters, all this sort of thing. Um, you know, yeah, you can set your loudness target, which is for a different video. Uh, spectrum. Uh, peak hold time, how long you want the spectrum to last for, window size, the resolution of it, real time. You know, I leave things as they are uh, just just for the sake of, you know, ease. And I think how it is by default is pretty good. Um, uh, hybrid crossover type, 
for the uh, dyna the multiband dynamics, very useful. And in the I/O, you know, you can have the metering type uh, RMS, which I think starting out you should stick to, but you can change that to RMS only integrated. So you can really like dial in your uh, loudness uh, meter scale, change that. A lot of options here: meters for stereo and uh, your peak hold time, so you can see what's going on. Um, and then you can check your version number if you want. So yeah, that is uh, Ozone. We're going to be delving into basically everything about this plugin. And uh, yeah, we're going to be kind of mixing a track, or sorry, mastering a track and uh, doing some fun stuff. So yeah, I hope you uh, stick around. Hope you are learning stuff. Take care and have a good one.